This production of A Magic Flute is a very stripped back magic flute. It's called A Magic Flute, not The Magic Flute. He's very much of the opinion that this is his treatment of it, and he's taken that work. They've stripped it back from full orchestral accompaniment to a single piano on stage. They've moved from a large chorus to no chorus and stripped it down to seven, eight performers on stage. I saw it at the Bouffe de Nord in Paris, and it's just beautiful. It's really exquisite, sensitive, subtle piece of work. The production starts with, um, with an African performer on stage. He walks forward and, by sleight of hand, the flute appears. And from then on, it's that charm and wit that Peter Brook has the ability to create. The simplicity, the, the fact that he's working with young actors, young singers, who are as close to the audience as, as we are now in this theatre. And it's almost like standing in a rehearsal for an opera and watching people that close to you perform. So it's not over their dramatic, huge, large scale. It's this idea of an intimate piece of opera, the likes of which I haven't seen before. A Magic Flute is a great piece of theatre. Peter Brook is one of the world's great directors and his theatricality and his simpleness strips back the opera from being a grand piece of stage work to being a piece of absolutely beautiful and exquisite work. And more than anything else, it's one of the funniest, most charming, wittiest productions